lovers how are you guys doing today so i'm super excited for this video because i'm going to be doing a full face of makeup products that kathleen lights made me buy these are all products that she has raved about and recommended and i actually sat down and i was doing a list of things and i was like you know what i have so many products that i can just go ahead and do a full face so i kind of turned this into a tutorial and as i'm going along i'm talking about each product that she made me buy and whatnot i do have a few to mention in the beginning because there's way too much stuff stuff to put on my face like if i sat here and put everything that she made me buy on my face it would look a little ridiculous so i have a few things to mention to y'all but um, I love how this look turned out and I love Kathleen. I've been watching her for years and I just think she's a super sweet, genuine person. Um, I have seen her go from like under 100K to like I think she has either 3 million or 4 million. I've been watching the entire time. I've seen her make mistakes and own up to them and everything that's happened along the way and I feel like she's still such a sweet, genuine down-to-earth person i don't watch that many big youtubers there's a few that i really like um like jackie Ina, i love i love robbie de christie but um for the most part the youtubers i watch are smaller but i feel like even though she has millions of subscribers that she's still the same person which i really appreciate so one of the products that i feel like she made a lot of people buy is the Too faced chocolate bar um mine is broken it makes this very lovely sound Oh, it just kills me. That's probably the reason why I don't use this palette. It's just because it makes that sound. Um, I used to use this every single day. I did love it for a while. I have not touched it in a long time. I really should pull it back out and use it more often. But this was one of one of the first palettes that I got. And it was because of Kathleen. I also got these two highlighters because of Kathleen. These are very similar. I've actually done a video comparing them. Um, one is the Essence Pure Nude Highlighter and the other is Laura Mercier Matte Radiance. The Laura Mercier one doesn't have like a super dark base so this works better for my skin tone whereas the Essence one um, even though it looks the same when it's looking in the light when you turn it you can see that orange background so this does not work for me as a highlighter at all but i actually love it as a bronzer she's also the reason why i have invested in some natasha denona shadows um the very first one that i got is the joya palette which i think this is my favorite ever like i just love this color scheme i did a tutorial recently using it um and i just love these shadows i think that they're beautiful and then i actually ended up getting the purple blue palette in my beautylish lucky bag but every time i would tell myself like you don't need to try Natasha Denona like it's too expensive in the back of my mind I would hear Kathleen Natasha Denona is one of the best eyeshadow formulas I've ever tried and I'm like oh, I got she she's the reason why I had to try these because because she kept saying that and I just I had to know um I also have every single little single that she came out with ColourPop I didn't use any of them today I only grabbed this one out this is telepathy this is my favorite shade that she came out with it's just like a really pretty green gold I also bought the Juvia's Place masquerade palette because of Kathleen um, this is one of my favorites and this is the beginning of a lot of purchases because I have bought every single Juvia's Place eyeshadow palette because they are some of the best eyeshadows out there. They are so beautiful and she did the most stunning tutorials with this palette. So I bought the Urban Decay Naked palette because of Kathleen. She used to use this so much and she raved about it and she... I feel like this is a very Kathleen palette. She's also the reason I got the Urban Decay Naked Smoky palette. It's the only truly cool tone palette that I have, but I love it so much. Whenever I want to do a smoky eye, this is my go-to. I don't use it that often, but it is super, super beautiful. And she said that this was what she wanted the um, Naked 2 to be, and I completely agree. Like, this is a really nice palette. I also have a ton of Kale Polish, which is her nail polish line. Um, I'm wearing Miss Kensington right now, which is super pretty and kind of goes with the look that I did. Um, so I, that is everything that I wanted to mention really quickly that I didn't use in the tutorial. So if you want to see how I got this look, then just keep watching. So I already did my brows and primed my eyelids with some concealer. The first item I'm going to go in with is the Dream Street Kathy Lights Temps ColourPop Palette. This is beautiful. I have been loving this so much lately. And the look I want to do today is actually one that I already saw her do. She did like this really pretty blue silver cut crease. So I'm just going to go ahead and recreate that. I'm just going to keep this kind of quick and not go super in depth because I have a lot of products to talk about today. But I will be um, doing tons of videos in the future with this palette because I really love it and it is so affordable.
So I feel like the highlight shade in her ColourPop palette is just a touch too dark for me, but her collaboration with Morphe um, is another palette that I love. I wish that this had been around, around a little bit longer, um, but this lightish highlight shade in here is supposed to be like MAC Nylon, so I just went ahead and put that on my brow bone since it works a little bit better for my skin tone, but this eye look though... Like, it's so pretty. So I actually have two primers today that Kathleen Lights made me buy. Um, one is the No Problem Primer from Touch and Soul. This is actually pretty affordable for being at Sephora. I think it was only $18 for, like, I think this is a full fluid ounce. Yeah, a full fluid ounce primer. So for Sephora pricing, I thought it was really good. Um, but I think this might break me out. It's been a little while since I used it. I was giving my skin a break. But I'm going to go ahead and try it again today. And then after I apply that, I'm going to go in with the... Becca First Light Priming Filter, again, a Kathleen Lights purchase. She raved about this, and you guys can see that I've used quite a lot of it. Um, so I love this. I kind of took a break from it because I've been using the Glossier Priming Moisturizer Rich, um, which I think Kathleen Lights would really like that if she tried it. But I do love this primer. It's very hydrating and illuminating. I'm just going to take the pore one and mostly focus it on the center of my face one and just kind of put that on the parts that I want to glow a little bit more so I can't think of any foundations that were completely inspired by Kathleen lights that she made me purchase but I was watching her recent like um, video on new makeup releases and whether they're good or not and she was talking about the flower beauty light illusion foundation and how much she likes it which I do have it right here it's a touch too dark for me I did a lightest shade video on this foundation already I do like the formula so I figured I would just use that today just because I know that's what she she likes this foundation and if I didn't buy it already, I mean, it might have been an inspired purchase. Which I find that happens a lot with her too, that she like talking about a product and I'm like, I already own that and I love it. And then I wanted to mention that I also purchased the Flower Beauty sponge because of her, which um, it's not my favorite sponge ever. It's a little bit big, especially for the under eyes, but it is super, super soft and it is cruelty free. You can get it at the drugstore. So overall, no, not a whole bunch of complaints here. Other than it being like just a little bit too ginormous. For concealer today, I'm going to go in with the Tarte Shape Tape in the shade Fair. I'm really not sure who made me buy this because so many people were talking about it. But um, I don't have another concealer that I can think of. But I'm pretty sure Kathleen Lights likes this. So I'm sure she was at least like partially responsible. So I'm just going to go ahead and highlight my face. Cover up any acne. Conceal. All that good stuff. I'm gonna go in with a little bit extra concealer. I just love the Anastasia Beverly Hills Pot Concealer. Um, and I'm just gonna conceal a little bit more because I'm breaking out. For powder today, Kathleen Lights completely made me buy the RCMA No Color Powder, you guys can see. I've gone through quite a little bit. I've actually had this for like two years. Like, it takes forever to go through this powder and it's so good for dry skin. Like, if you have problems with your under eyes looking super dry, like, this is the powder for you. I love it. She was actually just talking about um, a new Becca powder in the video that I was just watching from her. Um, it's like Hydro Mist or something, and I guess the powder's 50% water, and she said that it's really good and it's really cool, really innovative. So I'm like about to go add that to my Ulta cart because this powder has never done me wrong, and she recommended it. So Okay, so next, another one of my absolute favorite products is the... Um, butter bronzer from Physicians Formula. You guys can see like I'm super excited about this You can actually see like I'm starting to make a mark on this and I use such a little amount of bronzer because I'm so fair And this is the regular shade like um, It's just their it's just the shade bronzer It's not the light bronzer which I think if I were to repurchase I might get the light bronzer next time, but I'm, It's finally showing my love for this. It's evident. It's so good. So I'm just going to go ahead and kind of bronze and contour at the same time. I don't have a blush today that I can think of, so I'm just going to go ahead and grab this really pretty blush shade in the Natasha Denona palette and just throw that on my cheeks. For highlighter, I have a few different options, but I think I'm going to go in with the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Highlighting Palette. She did. I think she was the first person to do a review on this. Um, and I wanted to go ahead and pick it up because she talked about this shade right here being one of her favorites It's just a beautiful light pink shade and it is my favorite in the palette as well So I'm going to go ahead and apply that one today and I'm going to use one of her favorite highlighting brushes This is the ColourPop 
um, small tapered highlighter, I think is what it's called, or something along those lines. Again, she made me buy it. I'm gonna go ahead and quickly use the Dream Street palette again to do my lower lash line. I wanted to mention that another like brush that I bought because of her is this little e.l.f. one. It's just a pencil brush and it's really nice. I love using it for my inner corner to highlight. I love using it on the lower lash line. It just works really well. I, this is one of those brushes that I love so much that I'll sit there and do the lower lash line and then I'll wipe all the product off on my hand and then use it for highlighter, highlighter as well because it's just really really nice it's super soft and it has like a very tiny little tip on it which i really appreciate for getting right up there in the lower lashes So for eyeliners, I was going to go in with Mr. Bing, but unfortunately, I thought that I'd grab Mr. Bing, but this is actually a lip liner. This is grunge, um, but I do have Mr. Bing somewhere that is her collab with ColourPop um, as far as the little eyeliners go, but I guess I'll go in with this other one. She made me purchase um, the gel liners as well because she said they were really good. This is the shade Swerve. I used to use this all the time. I think that these were discontinued. I don't know why though, because they're really good other than the fact that sometimes it falls back down like the thing in here is broken. I wish I had Mr. Bing. Oh no, y'all. It just come, fell completely out. Okay, let me put you back in, little, little dude. Let's see. I can't think of any mascaras in particular that Kathleen has made me buy except for um, the L'Oreal Lash Paradise, I believe she did a video on, but I went cruelty free since buying that, so I no longer have it and I'm no longer going to buy it, so I'm just going to throw on some mascara real quick. So I'm going to set my face real quick with the Milani Make It Last Setting Spray. This is one of Kathleen's faves, and it's actually kind of funny. She recommended it, my friend Marixa bought it, and then Marixa wouldn't stop telling me how good it was, so then I went and bought it, so it was kind of a chain reaction there, but it is so good. I'm almost out, and once I use up all the setting sprays that I have, this is the one, the only one that I'm going to be repurchasing, I believe, because it just has such a fine mist. It's affordable. It makes your face look dewier. Like, it sets everything in place so beautifully. I just love this little spray. So last but not least is lips, and I have so many options. She has had so many lip collabs. So first off, she did um, a collaboration with Ofra, and she did Miami Fever, which I think would actually kind of look cool with this look because of the orange and the crease. Like it might, like it might tie it together. So, but I feel like that doesn't go with my shirt, and it might be a little bit too much. So I kind of want to go in with something a little bit more nude. But I do love this shade, and actually, I'll tell you guys real quick, just throw it in this video. Super quick little giveaway. I have the Ofra Kathy Lights Miami Fever lipstick. I have an extra. This is, again, such a small little giveaway, but if you guys love Kathleen Lights and you weren't able to get this, or you haven't gotten it yet, just comment down below something that's good in your life, because there's always something positive to think on, even in your worst days. Just one thing at least to focus on that's good. So comment something good that's happening right now, something that makes you happy, something along those lines, and I will choose a random person. I'll have everything in the um, description box, like all the little rules and whatnot. Like this is probably US only because it's so small, um, but I will pick someone soon and I will send you guys a little little liquid lipstick and then she also has tons of color pop collabs so the first one was lumiere which i have the lip pencil or the lippy stick whatever i have the lip pencil and then i have lumiere too she came out with a whole set of um what's the other shade i can't remember but i wanted to get it but i still haven't gotten it she had like an ultra satin lip a matte lip whatever for another shade but i can't think of what it is um but i actually got that for my um, friend for Christmas. I got her that whole set. I also have the Ultra Satin Lip in November, which I just got, so I kind of want to try that one. And then I also have her Ultra Glossy Lip in Moonshot. I think this is my favorite out of all of them. I just love a good nude gloss, so I love this one. Man, you guys, I don't know. There's so many choices. Mm, I don't know if that's too pink. I think I'm just going to go in with Moonchild don't mind the fact that my lips are chapped, like always. 
So this is the finished look and I honestly love it so much but I'm not surprised at all because so many of the products that Kathleen has recommended are my holy grail products. It was kind of funny when I was pulling everything together for this video. Um, I was like not having to grab things out of my makeup drawers because almost all of it other than a few palettes that I don't really mess with that much. I sits on my table where I do my makeup every single day where I film everything like that so there are products that I constantly use they are my holy grails so I feel like I just really trust her opinion I think that everything I use today looks bomb so I hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to like comment and subscribe and I'll see y'all in the next one bye